Morgan, where are we going? To the beach? To do what? How many are you going to find today? 80 million. 80 million? Colton, where are we going? Going to Shark Teeth Beach. To do what? Show us where to go to get to Shark Tooth Beach. So we've just passed Summer Waves, right? And you park on the side of the street. There's a lot of people here today. And there's just this little remote road. This is what it looks like. It does not have a sign or anything. You just go down this little trail. So right past Summer Waves, down on the right. Correct? Okay, go. the water park. You excited? All right, let's go. Keep going, we're almost there. We've been on the trail about 15 minutes. And we're walking at a slow pace. All right, here we are, folks. We're coming up to Shark Tooth Beach. Wah, wah, wah. After a little walk, it was so hot, which really not that bad. It was 80 degrees today, but we made it. So amazing. We're gonna go find some shark's teeth. Hopefully find lots and lots and lots today. <laughs> So just look up the tide time before you come out here. Make sure you bring some water with you if you're going to be out here for a while. Get dehydrated. Yeah, so we can pick up the shell. We're going to walk to the other side of the beach. Just because we like to start down there, and we have had a lot of luck finding sharp teeth down at this end of the beach. So when you come down the trail, take a left, and go down just as far as you can go on the beach. Okay, go! There's a lot of people out here hunting today. Sometimes we come out here and there's no one out here. Sometimes we come out here and there's a lot of people. So. Great. So how are we find them, Logan? Tell everybody on here how to find them. What do you think? We just look. 
Oh, I see one right there. Right there. You see that giant one sitting right on top? Oh, man. Put it in your hand and show everybody how big it is. Wow, look at that. Right on the top, guys. All right, we found our first one. It goes to... are we looking for boys? Black. Black. They are gonna be black. And we are right down by where the tide is rolling in. That's kind of the best spot where you want to be because it's gonna mix all of that sand and rock up. And a lot of times you're gonna find them just laying right on the top from the waves. Be patient, right? Patience is key. And go very, very, very slow when you're looking. Logan loves to help other people find sh shark teeth. Aren't you, Logan? these hard, sharp rocks or kneel down without getting cut and without getting wet and without getting sand on my booty. So, that's a good idea to bring one of those if you have one. Logan, how many have you found today? Five or six. That's a pretty good day. We found another one. This one is super, super hard to see. It is so little. We are sitting down on the ground. And here it is. So you have to get way far down, really close. And 
just be patient and look. All right, this is what we found today. How many hours were we out here? About two hours. This is what Dad found. How many toad beds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve teeth. One fossilized shell of some sort. Lisa found that ray barb right there, and then I found that ray plate. Okay. Colton. Um. One. Count this time. Okay, so like maybe 10 to 12. And Colton, what, or Logan, what did you find? Oh, put them in your hand so we can see them. Alright, wait, get that last one out of there. One. Alright, so he got, this was the first one that we found. It's really, really long over right here. One. And he got a two, three, three four, four, five, six. Five. And then he got a stingray barb as well. Awesome! Good job, boys! And the tide is up, so we are done for the day. There's not really a whole lot that we can find out here easily when the tide's up. Um, so we're going to head on back. Until next time. Go, go, come on.